The passage indicates that Cressy would agree with which of the following statements about the organizers among the English immigrants to New England in the 1630s. So let's start here with answer choice A. It says some of them offered a religious explanation for their immigration. If you look here at lines 8 through 10, it says he does not deny the frequently noted fact that some of these immigrants, most notably the organizers and clergy, advanced religious explanations for departure. So you would agree that some of them definitely gave a religious exp explanation for their immigration. So we go to B. They did not offer any reasons for their immigration until sometime after they had immigrated. Now, notice here that B is it's declarative, or not just that it's declarative, but it's all-encompassing. They. They did not. So he would agree, Cressy would agree, that some of them did not offer reasons for immigration until after they had immigrated. If you look here at line number 11, it says these explanations assume primacy only in retrospect. So some of them did not offer explanations or reasons until after, perhaps. But again, they all encompassing, that's going too far. You can't just say because some maybe did that all did. So out with B. Then we have C. They were more likely than the average immigrant to be motivated by material considerations. And this one sounds really good. And I think a lot of people get tripped up with this one because we know that these immigrants in the 1630s did or were motivated by material considerations. However, what's that rotten spot, that suspect part, is the average immigrant. Do not base this on your own knowledge, only what's indicated in the passage. The, do we ever talk here about average? Anywhere. Does Cressy mention, does the passage mention the average immigrant? And does he compare these immigrants of the 1630s to this average immigrant? Of course, no. Nowhere in the passage does it talk about this average, so the answer is simply A.